Sally Taglimonte by Simone Hansen. Sally Taglimonte went to school and works in Ontario, Canada. She is currently a professor in the University of Toronto, and unlike other people we have researched, she is, isn't exactly well known for one specific thing that she has accomplished, and instead is a more an all-rounder in the social linguistics field. So far, she's written six books. She has also written over 45 articles and has about 25 chapters in different linguistics anthropologies. As I mentioned before, she is basically an all-rounder within the social linguistic scene. She focuses on dialects based on location, based on specific words, based on culture and ethnicity, based on how language is used in media, and how language is changed with teenagers. She doesn't focus on a specific dialect either, instead has papers on different English dialects, from Canada to all the way to Britain. She also doesn't focus on a specific kind of dialectal quirk and works from specific words to, di to grammatical differences. Just last year, she finished a project called Language in Later Life, which collected data from adults who are about to go into retirement. One non-linguistics focus that this project had was creating a baseline for assessing cognitive decline in aging adults. But of course, they had lots of linguistics things that they focused on as well. Um, they hoped that the data from this project could help reshape their thinking about the impact of social culture factors at a critical transition in the human lifespan as you know, because starting retirement is a critical transition in your lifespan. Since 2002, she has been working on the Canadian English Project, which is a 20-year-long project allowing them to measure real-time changes that have taken place in Canadian English. And the testing is focused on linguistic patterns, social differences, and the impact of social media. In conclusion, she's an all-rounder to linguistics field without a specific niche and has completed quite a few interesting works based on the research product she's a part of. Thank you.